Love or hate them, disc brakes are here to stay on road bikes, with most new road bikes being launched only with disc brakes, meaning your choices for a rim brake bike in 2022 are few and far between. But there are some options out there, and in this video, I found some brand new and also some secondhand options if you're not ready to make the switch to disc brakes in 2022, and you must have a new bike with rim brakes. So let's dive in. I will start with the Canyon and the Ultimate CF SL7. It's now the most expensive, the most high-end bike you can get from the German bike brand with rim brakes. It's a good looking bike as well, just over 1600 pounds, full carbon frame and fork, shallow alloy wheels, and a full Shimano 105 group set, and a claim weight for a size medium of 7.72 kilograms, so pretty lightweight for the bike. Last year, the company still offered a CF SLX, so a lighter version of the frame, but this year, the CF SL is now the most high-end option. And if you want something more laid back than the Ultimate, then the company's Endurace is still available with rim brakes, although there's just one model. It's an aluminum frame, and it costs just over 1,200 pounds. So again, a good specification, Shimano 105 group set, some nice wheels and good quality tires, and a weight of 8.46 kilograms claimed. So very few options, just two bikes on their website here in the UK for rim brakes. So that is Canyon. Over to Giant, and Giant still supports rim brakes on its TCR Advance race bike platform. And the TCR Advance Pro 1 is the most expensive, the most high-end bike they currently offer with rim brakes, and it's a fantastic looking bike. £3,700 gets you a nice lightweight carbon frame and fork, full Shimano Ortega group set with the company's own power meter, so a giant power meter, a dual side of power meter, and carbon fiber wheels with their own tuba tires as well. You get their own stem, handlebar, saddle, all their own finishing kit, so a fantastic looking bike. If you still want a race ready, sort of top level race bike with rim brakes, that's probably one of the best options on the market right now and a cracking price as well. Near a thousand pounds more for a disc brake version of this bike. But if you want to buy a frame set and build it yourself, that's another good option. And Giant offers the Teaser Advanced SL. So the SL, as you might imagine, stands for Super Light and it's the lightest weight version of the TCR. So it's three levels and the SL is right at the top. You are looking at over two and a half thousand pounds for a frame, but if you get a group set, an old Durace or old Tech group set with rim brakes, this would be a good platform to build a nice lightweight race ready rim brake bike for 2022 and a fantastic paint job as well. If you're on a tighter budget, then Giant TCR Advanced 2, so the entry level to the TCR range, will set you back two thousand pounds and you get full carbon frame and four Shimano 105 group sets, some nice wheels and tires and generally a very good looking bike for the money and a great kind of entry level bike or a good step up from a cheaper entry level bike but you still want rim brakes for the lower maintenance and the lower weight they still offer compared to disc brakes. Over to Cannondale and the US company doesn't offer many rim brake options. In fact, this Optimo one is the only rim brake bike on the UK website. No Super 6 Evo and no System 6 with rim brakes. They are all about disc brakes. So the Optimo is an aluminum frame. All that CAD heritage is boiled down into the frame. So slightly drop rear stays, internal cable routing, apart from the rear brake along the top tube. But a good looking bike. Probably not the best value for money compared to that Giant, which is 2,000 pounds with a full carbon frame and one of our group set. But aluminum does offer a good ride quality and it's a good upgrade package. And you do have the appeal of Candel as a brand as well. So a good looking bike. Uh, looks good from all angles. Nice finishing kit on this one, comes in a range of sizes as well. So that's a good, really good option. Over to Trek, and again, this US company doesn't offer many options. And it's Damani AL2, which costs just £775. It's one of the few options on their website with rim brakes. So there's an aluminum frame, as the name suggests, none of the ISO speed of the carbon fiber Damani. But generally, good looking bike, a good entry level, good Grand Fondo, sporty bike, nice relaxed riding position pretty sensible gearing and specification on this bike, but that really is your highest end option from Trek. No Madone, no Amonda with rim brakes. They're all disc brakes, of course. However, if that's too low end and you want a really high end frame, lurking on the website is a Damani SLR carbon fiber frame set 
with a price tag of three and a half thousand pounds, which is still available with rim brakes. So this is a top level, race ready, team approved carbon fiber frame. The Damani is the endurance platform. Get the ice speed decoupler for more comfort, massive tire clearance. So this is a quite an interesting option if you want to build your own frame, you've got a group set and wheels, or you're upgrading your old rim brake bike to something a bit newer with more of a comfort focus, this could be a really good option. And uh, yeah, pretty solid choice that, but fairly pricey, three and a half grand for a frame set on its own. Over to a UK company called Ribble, and they still offer quite a few rim brake options. Get rid of that down there. And this Ribble Endurance SLR is a good pick. Shimano Ultegra DI2 group set, the company's own deep section carbon wheels. And don't let the endurance in the name uh, fool you. It's not actually an endurance bike. The geometry is fairly racy. It just it has space of wide tires, especially on a disc brake version, not as wide on a rim brake version due to caliper restrictions. And you have mudguard mounts as well. So good kind of year round British option that is, but very definitely a race ready bike. Looks fast, looks sleek, very stealthy black as well. Plenty of sizes available and just over £4,000 for that bike with the Ultegra group set. And it looks, looks pretty sharp actually. Their own wheels, their own one piece carbon handlebar and stem. And you can customize the bike so you choose a size. So you've got my size in stock. And you can customize it here. So you can change, oh, it fits mudguards for example. So how good is that? They go on there. The nice gloss black mudguards. Mudguards on a race bike, hell yeah. Change the wheels, I want to go to some uh, Mavic Cosmics. Yeah, they look good. So plenty of options to, um, and also you can customize the color as well for 300 pounds, that's a pretty good option. So that is a Ribble Endurance SLR. Those then are some of the new bikes available with rim brakes that I could find in a quick bit of Google searching. There is the Pinarello Dogma F if you had deep pockets, but I couldn't find the rim brake option on their website, so maybe it's a special order only. And the current Tour de France winning Carnago V3 RS, which soon to be replaced by the Prototipo, linked that down below, is still available with rim brakes, so that's another option. But then, second hand is another option. And we'll start with a Candel Super 6 Evo. So the new version of the bike is only available with disc brakes, but the previous generation was available with rim brakes and it is still one of the best bikes of the last decade or ever made actually. I have one down in my garage below. Don't ride much anymore, but it's still a fantastic bike. It's a super, super lightweight frame, fantastic ride quality, looks amazing as well. And you have rim brakes. So this is a pretty good option. Pretty good price actually, 1,650 pounds, cheaper than some of the new bikes we we're looking at just now. This is a high mod version, so the lighter version, and a frame weight of 690, 700 grams, so pretty lightweight. Nice round tubes, horizontal top tube. The paint job is a bit loud compared to modern standard. I'll take a group set on this. So really nice looking bike actually, it looks in good condition, not too many marks on it. So we've got a SRAM Force brake calipers and an Ultegra group set. That's an interesting mix that is. And some DT Swiss wheels, so nice wheels. A few marks around the rear stays, as you'd expect for the age, not a brand new bike, of course. But that looks pretty good, actually. And I have a bike very similar to this, and it's 10 years old, and it still rides as good as when it was new. So I have no concerns around buying a second-hand car bike. Just inspect the frame for damage. Make sure it's not being gouged around the chain stays where the cranks are in. Make sure there's no kind of impact damage. Just make sure the carbon frame is in good condition but any kind of small scratches, stuff like that shouldn't be a concern. Just look for bigger impacts or, or dents and scratches, but that looks a really good option. Now, as you know, the current Specialized Tarmac SL7 is only available with disc brakes, but the previous generation SL6 was available with rim brakes, and here's a really good option. Quite pricey, 3,000 pounds, but it looks absolutely brand new. So let's have a closer look. Got a fantastic looking frame, lovely paint job. Got a Shimano Ultegra group set. Hunt carbon fiber wheels, some nice tan wall tires, and looks from the photos to be in really good condition. I mean, it looks brand new. I can't see any marks on that from the photos. Yeah, it's a really nice looking bike. Can't see any concerns around this at all. Direct mount brakes, nice handlebar bar tape. That paint job looks really glittery in the sunlight you can see there. So that is a really, really nice option. Look at that paint job. Wow, that looks cool. So that is a really good option. And I know 3,000 pounds for a second hand bike is pretty spendy but it looks in good condition. I'm sure the person has looked after it very well. So that might be a good option if you're not too worried about having a secondhand bike as opposed to a brand new bike. There's another Specialized here, 
bit more spending this time, nearly 5,000 pounds, but we have Durace DI2. Let's have a closer look then, and it looks really good. Stealth black, yellow logos, matching bottle cages. I would lose a bottle cages straight away. Slammer stem, definitely slammer stem, but fantastic group set. Got the company's own wheels, Roval wheels, so that looks a really good option, and it looks clean as you like as well. I can't see any worries about that at all. I mean, the crank set on that looks brand new. You can't see much wear in that. Look how clean that cassette is. The wheels look good. You can see a bit of um, kind of wear on the rim brake. That's the only worry with rim brake bikes. If you have carbon wheels, you need to make sure there's plenty of life left in the carbon wheels. But you can always buy another set of carbon wheels as a spare. A bit of salt around the bar tape, so it's had some use. So definitely one to pay attention to. Maybe take a mechanic along to have a closer inspection of that bike. That might be a good option. No, top level money, but a top level bike. Then the Trek Amonda SLR used to be available with rim brakes and was a super lightweight bike when it had rim brakes. And here for £4,400, we have the H1 Pro Fit. So this is pro level, pro slammed, race ready. It looks a fantastic bike. I mean, that looks absolutely amazing. Durace group set, DI2, Bontrager, deep session wheels. I mean, that looks really tidy. It looks really clean. Aero handlebar as well. So if you want a rim brake bike that's super lightweight for climbing, racing, well, that might be a cracking option because the new Amonda SLR is only available with disc brakes. So you want rim brakes on your Trek Amonda. That looks really nice, actually. I mean, that is really tidy. Well, I'm quite tempted, actually. So we started the video with a Canyon Ultimate CFSL, and we'll finish the video with a Canyon Ultimate CFSLX, a second-hand bike, my size, 2,800 pounds, and it looks a real corker as well. So we've got SRAM Red on it, fantastic group set. I love the hoods on this uh, generation of SRAM Red group set. Nice set of zip wheels, and it looks clean. It's three or three wheels. I mean, look how good that looks. That is a race ready, cracking bike. That is a really good, the rims look good as well. Not too much wear on the brake track on the rims. That looks a really, really sound option. Yeah, they've looked after that bike. I love the hoods on this SRAM Red 22 generation. So that is a good option. So that, is a good price, just under £3,000. So, yeah, quite a lot of money for a second-hand bike, but you can't get a brand new CF SLX with rim brakes, so that is your only option. And uh, if it be been looked after, which it looks like it has been, then I can't see any problems with that. So there we go then, plenty of options, more or less, if you want a rim brake bike in 2022. Quite a few new options, but if you want a new rim brake bike, my advice is to act quickly because the choice for new rim brake bikes is getting smaller and smaller all the time. And as eBay shows, plenty of good options in the second hand market. Some pretty good bikes there, Specialized, Canyon, Trek, and provided they've been looked after and not trash, which most of these look like they have been looked after, they should be just fine. And while spending that sort of money on a second hand bike might be a bit of a worry for some people, I don't see anything to worry about from the pictures on these uh, descriptions here. The only concern would be the brake track on the carbon fiber rims because they will eventually wear out. So that's something to pay close attention to if you are buying a secondhand rim brake bike in 2022. Okay, hopefully this video has been helpful and useful. And if you wanna see some of the best, newest road bikes available in 2022, mostly with disc brakes, then check the video right here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button right here. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again very soon.